Hi, right, Capun Piso here. Presenting the truth. You know how we were created? We are, were created by a big bang. In other words, the penis Christ of our Father deposit offerings in our mother's cave of creation. And uh, combination of DNA and you have nine months later a human being created by penis Christ. There is no God. God is a delusion, it's a psychosis. To be successful in evolutionary terms, your genes have to be in the next generation. As soon as you have sexual reduction, what you're doing is going out into the environment and looking for other individuals that are doing well and trying to get some of their genes into your offspring. You need to assess how everybody in your population is doing in terms of their reproductive output. See, the problem is that creationist theotards and people infected with Christ psychosis are extremely ignorant. They don't realize that everything evolves. And they prove it's bacteria and viruses. We have trillions and trillions of bacteria, our ancestors. Here are the facts. If God works through natural selection, if God works through created law, then, then God has stepped back a couple feet. Yeah. And he's not directly involved with me and with, you know, yeah. answering my prayers. He's explaining and creation as well, like Christ and Ghost is bullshit. That have dealt with these issues. The scientists but explain that. Those are that. the most common uh, reasons given. Because human beings are being talked about rather than falling objects. I mean, you know, it, it's, much, it's much more sensitive to deal with living things than it is to deal with relatively inanimate processes like yeah. why do the planets go around the sun. Yeah. Well, the idea of God working through uh, created law, you know, it, it, that, that was Newton's big contribution, really, uh, theology. I mean, he argued that God was actually grander by having invented... The, the laws of, of motion and gravitation and so yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah, Newton was a schizophrenic. Previous to Newton, um, Sick. the idea was... It was brilliant, but he said, you know, that, that God psychosis. sent the angels to guide the planets around the sun uh, in their, or alternatively around See the um, to, you know, but, but, you know, the idea of, 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 you know, God himself or the angels out there pushing the planets around was a perfectly reasonable explanation. See that? Well, exactly. Newton thought that God was much grander if... The phrenics. Uh, they don't realize that uh, Newton was a, was a scientist from the 1700s. That was a Christian. He was infected with Christ psychosis. And he was a schizophrenic. He was manic depressed. And this is obvious. But the basic thing is that uh, uh, they don't realize that. Everybody was infected with Christianity in those days. But believing God is that makes the intellect. You have to be extremely ignorant and retarded to believe in this nonsense. And this is the reason... This brilliant man, uh, astrophysicist, uh, Dr. Tyson, the grass Tyson, he just, he just laughed at them. <laughs> like Dawkins and the rest of the mentally healthy, you know, there was atheist scientists. You're just right for life. Excuse me. <laughs> just look at the volume of the universe where you can't live. You will die instantly. That's not, that's not, that's not what I call the Garden of Eden. All right. 200,000 people, floods, tornadoes, none of this is any sign that there's a benevolent anything out there. And typically they happen to the family afflicted by it. And you just look at images of these aborted feces, because um, uh, fetuses, because of the... And most of these are still born, others are born, you know, born with a heart outside the body. And so, this is all simply stupid design. And the problem is, if you look for what is intelligent, and yet you can find some things that are just really beautiful. And really, hey, that's a, that's a clever. You know, the ball socket of the shoulder. And for any uh, uh, singular purpose. My favorite of all is, of course, you eat, breathe, eat, and drink through the same hole in your body, guaranteeing that some percent of, our, of us will choke to death every year. Okay? That would be just really cool, right? <laughs> just, you could drink, breathe, and just talk, and you would never choke. Dolphins breathe and eat through different holes in their body. And that's a mammal. So I'm not asking, I'm not, you know... Um, between our legs, right? As you've heard, uh, it's, we have, and, and you've heard it, it's like an entertainment complex in the middle of a sewage system 
No engineer <laughs> to design that. That's ever. right. Many Please. don't realize that we're product of a fuck. We came out of a vagina. <laughs> and we stink. And we shed. And we're just like any other animal on the planet because we are animals. Retarded idiots don't understand this. It's infected with Christ psychosis. But it's a fact. There is no God. <laughs> but anyway, we are composed of a toolkit. You know, that proves evolution. You know, we are almost identical when we are fetuses. Ident embryos. Identical. Look at this. And the toolkit with the, de the genes and DNA, it just makes it from part of our body and creates. We are related to everything. To insects, to the trees, to anything. To any animals. It's a fact. The head-to-tail axis of animals, even that look completely different, including us, in fact, built by an ancient toolkit of these key developmental regulators yeah. called Hox yes. genes. Yes, yeah. Hox genes, and they are proving in the lab. You can actually see it. And on the upper right corner, you can see, you know, the the cow embryo and the human and the pig. But see, you see all this. This is we are product of evolution. We have these Hox genes. DNA that actually, uh, and the toolkit that makes us what we are. And the embryos is related to their position along the cluster. So the blue genes here at the one end of the cluster are expressed at the head end of the embryo that's shown there in the bottom right. The colored genes in the middle are expressed in the middle of the embryo. And the green genes at the end of the cluster are expressed in the tail region of the embryo. The issues that you find from the head to the tail of the adult Drosophila. So if you make mutations in those genes, you change the development of the characteristic tissues that should form along the anterior posterior body axis. From fruit flies, their anterior posterior body axis is built from the very same uh, sets of genes. So mice and humans, other vertebrates, have uh, sequences that are closely related to these Hox genes of flies. The holes also occur in clusters. The clusters are also expressed in patterns that are related to anterior posterior development. They're actually duplicated, so there's more copies in, in mammals, but blue genes at the end of the clusters are expressed in the head regions of the embryo, shown at the lower left of the embryo. And just as in fruit flies, if you make mutations in these uh, key Hox genes, those mutations alter the formation of the characteristic tissues that would normally form at each position along the anterior Yeah, we, we line humans line have them too, the because we do have DNA. So it looks so like... This is what makes evolution a fact of science, a proven fact. Pass our genes and our copies, our kids, are copies, are <laughs> not the same, and they are mutations. Like it happened in adaptation also of nature, like seen in this giraffe. The ribs are very stiff. It's not as if they can lift their ribs the same way as we can. It's probably related to movement of the intestines up and down against the back the world of a giraffe. Their front feet on the ground. When the front feet hit the ground, all the intestines hit against the diaphragm. And that pushes the air up the world. Of the lungs of a giraffe. Then the intestines move back, and of course then the diaphragm can contract quite easily. We evolve, must adapt or die. It evolves, right. Evolution produces beautiful animals that may look as if they've been designed. But animals are not perfect. Their imperfections offer important clues to their evolutionary history. The team looks for a nerve called the recurrent laryngeal. Its role is to carry signals from the brain to the voice box. It takes a strange circuitous route traveling from the brain down into the chest then back the neck to the voice box we can play with trees. so what does this nerve do in an animal with a neck as long as this it's one of the great evolutionary enigmas that biologist richard dawkins is eager to see dissect to get everlasting life in heaven you have to trust that heaven actually exists <laughs> yes And heaven does a scientist. I think that there is a problem with regards to the afterlife and religious immortality. And that is there's no proof that it exists. Remarkable sure. claims require remarkable proof. Exactly. Okay. One cannot be a scientist and intellectual believing in resurrecting zombies, gods, and the afterlife. That is a psychosis, just like a schizophrenia. Pachy Diron.